Hi viewers and welcome to the channel and welcome to Tame Your Free CAD. Now this is a series of small tutorials, very short, to learn how to use Free CAD and the tools that are in there and tips and tricks around those tools. And these are the basic tools that you need for actually modeling and designing in Free CAD and the things that people find difficult. So beginners and experts alike, we will learn actually how to use those tools to the best effect and also the workbenches around there. So today is about rotation and rotating objects. So there's quite some problems that people throw when they very first come to FreeCAD and they want to rotate an object. And there is a number of ways in FreeCAD to rotate an object, but the best one to use is the draft workbench. If you're coming from normal CAD, these workbenches you have to get used to the flow because normally when I design something like this I'll use one, two and three workbenches. Now I know the draft workbench is generally for 2D work you do use it to move and rotate 3D objects and there's one thing that people new to FreeCAD tends to go over the head it's like why would you change between these workbenches and it is it is a learning curve and once you've learned how to do this then you get there but there is some things about the draft workbench that you need to learn and that is that we're using a 3d object in a 2d workbench and that has problems that you need to overcome and learn how to solve them so for instance this object i want to take this part, this top of this box, and I want to rotate it so it shuts the box. Now I've already rotated this open so I know it's possible, and I wouldn't be doing this tutorial if it wasn't possible. So what we normally would do is come on to the, you know, if I take the let me take the top, which is sitting here, which is actually the bottom, confusingly enough, so the top is the top and the top is the bottom and the bottom is the top which I'm wondering now that I've got it around the wrong way uh, now nah, let's leave it around this way so we take yep right okay got it right so this is the top and this is the bottom it's because I had a slight angle there we go there we go so this is the top here and what I want to do is move this so it shuts the box. Now what you'd normally do, click on the top, right click, transform, and then we will get our little handler up here. And you can see, well, we can't rotate this because it doesn't rotate right. That's okay and control Z that. And it will actually be more apparent on the bottom because I haven't actually moved this so the reason why the rotation is out is because I've moved and rotated this so I click the bottom right click transform and try to rotate this then it's rotating around its axis so that's been created that box there has been created in the center of origin and you can see that that handler is right in the center of the box so how do we sort this well we use the draft workbench and that's what i'm going to show you how to do next if you like this video please hit a like and also subscribe to the channel i also have a ko-fi site where you can actually donate to my contributions to the community and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang0 so we're in our part design we've got our top we've got the bottom and we want to rotate this box shut so it's going to be rotating around the pin which is part of the hinge just here so we need really need the axis to run here or do we well what we need to do is jump into the draft workbench now before you turn off the video and go oh yeah I know how to do this this is where you have to be careful of working planes at the moment if I come over to my snap lock and show the plane, if I can get it with the grid here, 
you can see th this sits on the grid down here. Yours may differ depending on where you've created this. So it may even intersect in here. Now this is important for rotation because when we're drafting, forget about when we're creating a 3D model. When we're drafting, we're working in 2D. And we look at this plane as a piece of paper. You draw a 2D shape on this piece of paper, like so. And then your tools allow you to rotate this shape. So for instance, if I wanted to rotate around this point, then I use rotate by first clicking on the rectangle, hit the rotate, and then clicking, say this point here is my point of, point of uh, the actual axis. And then I just draw a line, don't have to worry about where the line sits there, and I can rotate it around there. No problems at all. I was a bit out where I drew the line, that, that's where the snapping comes in. That will snap me right to there. If I use the snapping in here and say snap to the point and select the object, rectangle, use the rotate and I can snap. You can see like a little icon that appears. There it is there and that dot there. So you got a little blue icon by the side of my pointer and that dot you click and that's dead on that point now and I can just put a line anywhere I can zoom in zoom out wherever I want and that will circle around that point and I just click and it's rotated now the same applies to 3d space but there is an issue that you have to be careful of let's get rid of that rectangle and it's all to do with this plane if I tried to do the rotation on this and I want to rotate around this axis here, the pin of the hinge, well, the same applies. Let's give you a bit more space. There's full screen. So the same applies in that we'll use the rotate tool. So click in what object I want to rotate. So I want to rotate the top, this one here. And I want to use the pin for rotation, so I'm not going to click that. I'm going to use the rotate. So now I'm in rotate mode. Notice what's happened to the working plane. That's gone right in the middle now. It's aligned itself. Now that work, working plane is important because that affects our rotation. Because it's thinking that we're in 2D space but we're actually rotating in 3D space. So let me go and rotate this. So I come in here and I'm going to use the, I'm going to unselect that one. So it's a good idea if, if you're snapping because this is important as well. So you're going to use the snapping. Snapping lock is on. We've unchecked everything in here. By default, they're all checked when you very first install it in FreeCAD and open it up. But I've unchecked all of them in here. I'm going to use the snap center and make that on okay so using basically one of these tools at a time makes life a lot easier when you get a bit advanced you can group them up so I've got this snap center on now so if I roll over I'm not clicking just rolling over so I come in here just roll over those two hoops well, those two circles there you can see I've got a white dot sitting in the center there There we go, that's just uh, shift and control and no, it's not shift and control. Shift there, that's it, shift. I'm talking about shift and control. There we go, we've got, as you move over, you can see the white dot. That's in the center there. So the minute that's in the center, I can click and then I draw my line. Now, because I've got the um, snapping still on I'm going to hit shift and move this so I can move this around with my shortcut keys and I'm moving the mouse I'm using shift and move and I'm on touchpad control so this one down here um, obviously not just for tab touchpad it's for mouse as well but whatever controls you're using remember to learn the shortcut keys to for navigation so I'm using the shift and moving that about and I'm going to place my line somewhere. And you can see it's snapping to the center of those boxes. 
I'm going to put it there and I'm going to try rotate. Now the snapping's going to come in. And you can see how it's rotating. It's rotating off at an angle. So if I just click now, and that's not the rotation we wanted. And the reason you can see how that's rotated, it's it's basically rotated it off an axis. And if we look at the way where, where its rotation intersects, it's along this working plane, what's known as the working plane, this one here. If the working plane in draft is too small, then you can come up and change it into edit preferences and we go down to draft go to grid and snapping and down here you've got the grid size here and the grid spacing so just increase this grid size and hit OK it won't appear straight away so you have to flip over to like to the design and then back to the draft and then your working plane will resize but that means that once that's resized that's that's it set now until you go back in there and do the customize again and if you don't see it also come in here and turn it on here so that working plane has affected our rotation and that is the problem that we're having for example if the working plane was sitting along here then that would affect the rotation this will go off somewhere as well and that catches people out it really does catch people out so we need to set this working plane and that's quite easily done so I'm going to hit control Z to bring this back now the easy way to set this working plane is by laying the working plane along one of these surfaces so it's flat again so if I was rotating say this way then this working plane should be flat against this surface or even flat against the back let me show you so if I select this surface here come up to utilities and we've got select plane and that sets the working plane now that is available from one of these toolbars somewhere but utilities select plane oh it's over here so if we click that there, there's the uh, plane set on there. So now, if I come over to where I want to rotate, so let's bring this down and come into here, set myself up for rotation, select the top, and you can see on that I'm using the pin for rotation, I know it's in another body. Select the rotate, and we come in here get that dot, see that dot's appearing, click and just click, uh, let's just move this out of the way, zoom out so you can see I can move this and still got that line there I haven't clicked yet so I can click somewhere and move this, see how clean that rotation is and that has made a nice clean rotation there and even if we, let's put this out, let's put this out a nice angle like that and you know we're trying to rotate that that's going to be an interesting rotation but because our working plane is set and we need to click the top always click the object you want to rotate first because it can become a bit confusing because you have to go through a number of clicks if you haven't selected the, the object so always click the object first select the rotate tool or come up to modifications and rotate and I'm going to come in here not too far and you can see you can see it better actually there you can see that dot's gone right in the center there there we go so click that and let's come out here and rotate that and there we go that's rotating nicely now so we can close that box right up so did I remember we can do the rotations here you don't have to come over here and highlight this that's conf may confuse people as well is that just take your hand off the mouse I've got my hand off the mouse now and just type in 90 enter and there you go and you rotated it there so also I'm going to try it this side so the working planes behind now and I'm just going to move this into position use my shift key there we go move that into position and click the top click the rotation and, and come in to here you can see the points coming in here 
click that and just come somewhere out here and let's just move that into position there we go so there you go so that's moved into position there it's all nicely rotated correctly so there you go that's how to rotate an object using the draft workbench and using that working plane as reference to allow you to do clean rotations of your objects that have been created in part workbench or the part design if you like what you're seeing please subscribe to my site and also i have a ko-fi site um, where you can actually donate a few pence or a few pounds dollars or whatever your currency is and that's at ko-fi.com slash mang zero and there you'll be able to help me fund my site and all the money that i actually get from any funds will actually get pushed back into the channel thanks a lot for watching and subscribing i'll see you next time